Hey folks, this is allaboutandroids.com and today we have Virtuous Inquisition 4.0.2. Uh, this update was released on the 26th of April. I don't know why they named it 4.0.2. It's a rather confusing name. Um, a lot of people will think that this comes with Android version 4.0.2. But don't worry, it does come with Android 4.0.3. And uh, so this update is uh, almost entirely based on a community release. It uh, has the latest uh, Sebastian FM's kernel, which is 1.4.1. It uh, the kernel's default uh, clock rate is uh, 1.51 gigahertz, but you can overclock it all the way to 1.84 gigahertz. Pretty fast. It's really fast. So Sebastian FM's kernel is almost uh, stock. It's different than Brit kernel. Uh, the Brit kernel because it has uh, almost no extra features, no sweep to unlock, no badass uh, governor. RMK40, the uh, developer for Virtuous Inquisition, likes stock. Stock has a uh, very, very, you know, it's. Stability, sta it's very stable basically. Stock is very, very stable, and uh, that's w how RMK likes it. And this is why uh, Sebastian FM kernel is default on this ROM. Now, in uh, previous releases, such as uh, 4.0.1, I noticed that uh, it was very, uh, it was, it would hang on apps if I would go to dialer, dial anything, it would just hang there. Uh, that's been fixed. Uh, this was because of uh, memory optimizations and ZRAMs. There was a script for memory optimization that's been removed now. And it has done a great deal of improving the ROM. It's very, very, very snappy. It does not lag anywhere at all. Very, very snappy. Um, and uh, another small issue where uh, when rebooting the phone, it would uh, go back to uh, the default ringtone that's also been fixed. Now, uh, Nova Launcher has uh, added a few features as well. For one, the app drawer, you have the, uh, trans the option of uh, making the background transparent. Right now I have it on half. So whatever your wallpaper is, now you can see it. That's kind of cool. I like to keep it in the middle somewhere. And another added feature is that you can choose to have the horizontal stock ICS um, app drawer. So just your regular one. Or you can choose to have uh, the vertical one where you have all of your apps here and all of your widgets on the other side. And the final cool feature added uh, on Nova Launcher is if you have uh, widgets that are in size uh, one by one, such as the uh, battery widget right here, you could actually put it into here. It resizes it, makes it smaller, makes it fit in there. The rest of the ROM has uh, Socali's uh, service pack uh, fixes, which were released, which were already released. Uh, if you want to have a look at the t complete change log, just look at the, just look below, uh, and you'll find the uh, detailed uh, fixes. I also benchmarked this ROM with the Antutu's benchmark, and I got a pretty good result. Um, my uh, total result uh, beat the Galaxy S2, so I'm really happy about that. Take that, Samsung. Uh, total result of uh, 65, 64, and here's the uh, where the culminative uh, how the score is. Okay. So overall, I'm really happy with this ROM. Uh, if you are a user that does not like HTC Sense, this ROM is for you. And yeah, that's about it. This has been all about Androids.com. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. We also have a Facebook, a Google Plus, and a Twitter. Add us there. Thanks.